Yo guys, what is good? Gurf13 here, back in today, guys. And today, it is finally good to actually be able to do a video. And I've been wanting to make this video for a couple days now. It took me a little while to actually... Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, shit. I feel like I'm about to cough. Taking a drink of water there for a second. Damn. Anyway, though, what I was going to say is I've been wanting to make this video for a little bit now. And it is the clue thread for the DLC pack that should come out tomorrow. So, uh, I don't think Forza has released a trailer yet for it. But I kind of want to go ahead and pick up a car that we bought during our last event. <clears throat> See if there's anything good. You know, we didn't get the Law Ferrari. We haven't actually taken it out yet. So let's go ahead and get in this. Take it out for a little test drive. And go over the clue thread. So, first car is, the first clue anyway, it is of the past, does not exist in the present, and speaks to the future. Now, this car, there, there's only one option really, I think, for me, and that is the DeLorean DMC-12. <clears throat> and God, I really hope that's not it. Or, wait, yeah. Because... I, I really don't want a DeLorean in the game. We already have the BMW 1M, and the 1M is so much better than the DeLorean. But they have very, very similar styling cues. And the DeLorean is honestly just a, a crap box. <clears throat> now, if they add it, though, it definitely makes my uh, the, the train video that I have, where I think it's a Back to the Future reference. Oh, that, that would be hilarious. But I really hope that they don't actually do that. Uh, I feel like they would, though, and I hope that's not the car they choose, but I feel like that's what it is, because it was made in the 80s, you currently can't buy a new one, but it, it's going to be coming out again here recently, or here soon, so I, I can see Speaks to the Future, it's of the past, but Speaks to the Future, I can see that being the reason why, also the clue sounds so much like a Back to the Future reference. And God, I really hope it's not. <clears throat> the other option it could be, though, is it could be a Toyota Hilux. Because they're making a new Toyota Hilux, um, and that was a, that was a Marty's truck in Back to the Future. So I think that could be another option in that car I would much rather have. Uh, so clue number two, though, the Tifasi thought it was a ripoff. Now, this car, the Tifasi essentially, if you're not unfamiliar with racing at all, like I was, uh, I had to actually go ahead and look up what the Defossi is. And really, it's Ferrari Formula One fans. Wow, we just... God, I hope no one ever actually does that in a La Ferrari. <clears throat> but the Defossi are Formula One fans who like Ferrari. So I thought, you know, it's got to be a Ferrari ripoff. And at first I was thinking it was a racing car, but I thought... No, uh, they're not going to put a racing car in this, really. Uh, so, what I thought it was going to be is... I got three cars for this one. It's going to be the Toyota MR2, which a lot of people call it a poor man's Ferrari, because it was a... Uh, it was a mid-engine grocery getter. The other option, which I could also see them doing, is a Pontiac Fiero, which people called a poor man's Ferrari as well. But a lot of people also called it a poor man's MR2. And the, uh, the Pontiac Fiero looks a lot like the Ferrari does. And I could definitely see them putting that in. Uh, especially since they did have it in, like, Forza 4, I know that. Uh, in fact, I actually have a picture of it. So, th th those are my options for that one. However, though, there is another option. <clears throat> and this one is the Zuzuho. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Eagle, Cri Eagle Carry. And the reason I think it could be that is it's a Chinese ripoff, and it's a Porsche 911, but it has Ferrari California headlights. And I, I I think it looks cool as shit, and I actually would really love them to do that. It's an all-electric car, so I could really see them doing that as well. Uh, it, would, it, it would be a really cool car to add to the game. You know, it would bring that Porsche look, but it also would have those Ferrari headlights, and it would be a way for them to bring in Porsche without actually having to go behind EA's back, where... Because if you guys don't know, the reason Porsche and Volkswagen aren't in the game is all because of Need for Speed. Uh, so, you can thank them. So, 
Then there is car number three. Being trendy can also be exciting. Now, this car also had kind of a... Uh, at first I was thinking Mazda MX-5, but we already have MX-5s in the game. So I don't think they're going to actually give us any more MX-5s unless they give us like some sort of... Uh, some sort of special edition MX-5. <coughs> Why the hell am I coughing so much? Jesus, I hate that. But... What I think it's actually going to be is it's going to be a Fiat 124, which is basically an MX-5 with different styling. Ooh, there's a train. Woo, go out to the train. And I, I could actually see that being an option, you know, Fiat 124. Uh, basically an MX-5. Uh, wow, I feel like I'm getting louder because these headphones. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> But that, that would be my option for that one. Then there's clue number four. It looks like a race car and drives like a race car, but is it a race car? Now, what I'm thinking this one is going to be is it's a car exactly, it, it's a car close to my heart because I actually really love this car, especially from the last Forza, uh, from the original Forza Horizon game, and that is the Radical SR8. It, it's basically a race car, but it's not a race car because it's street legal, you can drive it around. But it's, it was my favorite car in Forza Horizon, the original one. And I really hope to see it come back. But uh, it hasn't been back since. So it would be really cool to see it. Other than that, though, I have no clue what it could be. And I really doubt they'll actually put another Radical in the game. Uh, I really hope they do, but I doubt it. And then there's car number five. Car number five is just a really weird one. And the clue is something is missing. Now, the question is, what is missing? Just just something is missing. And I was reading over the thread, and I was looking at some other people's answers. Someone put the Cadillac Eldorado because it wasn't rear-wheel drive. Uh, I, I don't think so. Man, we keep hitting a lot of cars, but we keep trying to go on the other side of the road. Um, another one was, people were really going after, like, three-wheelers, like the Polaris Slingshot, or just the actual Reliant Robin, since we have the Reliant Supervan. Uh, and then another person was going really abstract, and they're like, how about it's missing a driver or a steering wheel? And they went with the Google driverless car. So that would be a funny one to see. I, I would really actually love to make like a, a Google uh, drift car. That would be hilarious. I would, I would do like a special video for that and all that, but it, that would be fun. Then there's clue number six. Now, clue number six has a couple different meanings, and I really think it is related to racing. And the clue is representing a period of absolute dominance. Now, my original thought was the Shelby Cobra, because of, you know, Ford just absolutely dominating Ferrari for a long time. But we already have the Shelby Cobra. So I had to think to myself, what are we going to actually get? And right now, what I'm actually thinking is it's going to be a, uh, a Mercedes Formula One car. And the reason I say that is because Mercedes is just absolutely dominating right now. And I really could see them doing that. Uh, and guys, it is really weird to talk with these headphones on, but they are so good. Oh, I'm loving them. Loving them, loving them, loving them. But that, that's what I think. And then, last clue. God, I really hope it's not what I think it is. It was both the beginning and the end for this model. And a lot of people, a lot of other people seem to uh, agree with this. And it's the. You have a friend in an online oh, hero Anna, session. Anna, no, Would you like I. To join their game? No, I don't want to join their game, Anna. Shut the hell up. Anyway, what I was saying, it was the beginning and the end for this model. And I hate to say it, but I think it's the Pontiac Aztec, and I really don't want it because it is the world's ugliest car. Jesus, stop! Stop! Let it. Let's get around. There you go. Thank you. But uh, I really think it is going to be the Pontiac Aztec. I hope it's not, but I think it is. God, I really hope it's not. I hate that car so much with a, with a passion. And that would just be Forza trolling us. They put it in the last two games. Uh, I, I believe Forza 6 has it and Forza Horizon 2 has it. So I'm really hoping that they don't. But I can see them doing it. And the only reason it's anywhere popular at all is because of Breaking Bad. So, but I hope that they don't, but I, I can see them really doing it. 
But anyway, though, those are my options for the December clue thread. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll link the description uh, as well to uh, the forum, so you guys can go ahead and check it out as well. And let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think it'll be. Uh, I know this is a little late for it going up, but I did just get new headphones today, so... Ugh. Anyway, though, guys, that's about it for today. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and make sure to hit the like button down below for us because you already know your support is so greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.